May 3rd, 2023, and I'm going to listen to a message uh, a social media friend of mine left. Uh, haven't heard it yet, so I'm not sure what to expect. Oh my god, girl, I just got... I literally went through your whole shit to see what the fuck was going on. Oh, give me one second. Oh my god, that was a phone call from my fucking... My, my kids' teachers, they're both... Both my kids are failing, you know? Fucking lazy asses, they're always on the video games. Anyways, boo. You... You know what? Kila... Okay. Is it Kila? It's Kila, right? Not Kiala? Well, anyways, anyways, um, I saw your story. I was so happy for you that you were getting married and stuff. And, you know, after, you know, you left your boyfriend. But I want you to know as a woman, you're such a beautiful woman. And I am coming at you to, so you know that, you know, you're worth so much. And you're, you know, have so much to offer a man. But you got to get with a man, not a kid. And even though sometimes men may appear like like a man or that they have the best intentions, and they do most of the times, they fall in love. You know, they're kind, they're gentle, they're open to loving and loving your son. But I'm gonna be honest. Make sure you get a man that doesn't have any mental disorders, has their shit together. The reason why I tell you is because I've dealt with that for 12 years, 12 fucking years, and my ex was an addict. So I've learned that if I ever leave my my current boyfriend, I definitely will not get with anyone that has mental disorders. I think your boyfriend has bipolar, huh? Because I saw it on your post and I didn't understand why the hell, you know, you're single and why the hell, you know, things look different on your page. And, you know, bipolar is really fucking bad. It's a lot worse it's than severe. what I'm dealing with with my partner. My partner has um, borderline personality disorder, anxiety, OCD and Tourette's, but it doesn't affect me like that. And I've been with him for... My ex-fiance is dealing with severe, rapid cycling bipolar. He's been left untreated for probably like 15 years. And based on the information that I've researched on it it can turn into bpd as well um and mimic even mimic uh uh symptoms of schizophrenia so that's what that's what i've been dealing with that's all the years so you know it works out but on your end, you know, your kids need somebody, your kid needs somebody that's not going to be, you know, with any disorders. I'm glad that it finally came to light and you cut it out immediately because you don't need it dragging on. They're going to, you know, it's going to, it's going to be like taking care of another kid and you don't want that. Um, my friend was okay. calling me for so many months, um, for about two whole years because her boyfriend, you know, was giving her shit. And I said, you know what? I'm pretty sure he has a problem mentally. I really think he has some sort of personality disorder. And then later on, you know, because of the repetitiveness, the, the, the like random crazy episodes he would get, mm -hmm. you know, and blame her. And there was no logic in speaking to that person. And you can't, mm -hmm. you can't calm them down. You can't rationalize with them or whatnot. And, it just broke, like, honestly, it drained her. And that's what it does. It'll yeah. drain you and it'll take you down. So I want you to know that if God puts something in your way, the goddess puts shit in your way, especially during a time of fertility, yeah. I think so it was meant for you, Keila, because you deserve more. You deserve to be happy. And you decided not to stick around and be, like, a friend again and Ooh. work things out from a just No, this motherfucker was supposed to marry you and just couldn't handle his disorder and now it's weird, you know? That's not love. That's just you oh had feelings and then, you know, you, you. you needed space. And now, you know, it, you fucked it up and shit's weird. You don't, you don't got time for that. You know, this is a wonderful <laughs> learning experience. Thank you, you deserve universe. so much. And you did get a lot of good stuff out of the relationship. It made you happy. It showed you that you were worth more. But now you're so much worth more that you're not going to stay in something like this. So I just wanted to give you those positive um, words of inspiration because, it's you know, incredible. you're such a joy when I see you on the Facebook. And 
I just, I feel for you. I feel for you because I, I, I know what you're going through. So have a wonderful day and know your worth. And I'm excited for your new chapter. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Um, divine message. Divine download. Thank you so much to everybody that's reached out to me. There have been people that I didn't even ever think or expect would and thank you so much for reaching out to me and helping me, supporting me through this. I don't have a family that I can lean lean on through these things. I don't have a mom that I can lean on through these things or a dad or siblings. So I highly appreciate the support. This is a really difficult situation and Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'm still wearing my ring, but I'm wearing it here. Just, I'm trying to cope with it. I'm trying to work through it. it hasn't even been a week. So, it's, it's fresh. I talked to him yesterday. And he tells me that he loves me so much or he loves me and I know he does I know he does that I'll always be in his heart and he'll always be in mine and I hope that he really focuses on his mental health and his physical health because they both are in crisis. He meant well. I know he meant well. I know you meant well, honey. Every time we've said goodbye, um, whether it was in person or or the phone, it's been so, it's been loving and it's been tender and I can tell we're both hurting. But this is what has been chosen and I'm still going to post your pictures. Thank you, God, universe, and divine source for the beautiful people that have reached out to me. I appreciate it so much. Thank you to his mom. Because uh, on my end, she was such a blessing to hold my hand through some of those difficult moments. I love you, baby. If you ever watch this, never doubt that. Be okay. That's the most important part. Be okay. You'll always be a part of my soul. You know that. Ciao, baby. <laughs>